Hi Kathy, my name is Adrian. I'd like you to help me on Life Sciences 2017, Paper 2, Question 2.1 on Protein Synthesis. Okay, the sequence of amino acids, now remember the sequence is very important, hey? The sequence of amino acids in a protein, because amino acids make proteins, is coded for by the DNA, because that's your recipe, that's the recipe sits in your DNA, and RNA. The table below shows some mRNA. Now, mRNA are your messenger RNA. And the reason we need messenger RNA is because DNA sits in the nucleus. Okay? And it has to get the message about proteins, and to make those proteins, it's got to get that all the way to the ribosome. So how does it get to the ribosome? The nucleus, the DNA, uses messenger RNA codons to send that message to the ribosome so the ribosome can produce the proteins. So when we look at protein synthesis, people, protein synthesis is, there are two processes. One is transcription. That is when the DNA makes RNA. It actually makes the mRNA, the messenger RNA. And translation happens inside the cytoplasm at the ribosome where your transfer RNA literally brings the amino acids so they can be put together by peptide bonds and we end up with proteins. Alrighty, so what they've given you here is a whole bunch of mRNA codons and the amino acids that they will code for. Okay, so according to the table, how many codons code for phenylalanine? It sounds like someone's very pretty name. Phenylalanine. Okay, so let's look. We've got phenylalanine here and phenylalanine here. So it's UUC and UUU. So we have two, two codons. All right. Um, okay, now something else I think I need to just quickly, I'm going to just, I'm going to just do it here. Remember that you are always going to have adenine to thymine and cytosine to guanine. Those are your nitrogenous bases. These are your purines and these are your pyrimidines. Okay, this is for DNA. In RNA, you have uracil instead of thymine. So adenine will, co will be complementary to uracil and cytosine will be complementary to guanine. All right, so what is the anticodon of glutamic acid? So if we look here, the anticodon is for glutamic acid. Now, if it is G, A, G, that's your messenger RNA, your DNA is going to be C, T, C, and your anticodon is going to be C, U, C. All right, so for question two, the answer is going to be C, U, C. And I'm going to do something naughty now. I want to show you this. Okay. I need for you to pay attention. If I have my DNA here, all right, and I have my messenger RNA, that's the codon, and you have the transfer RNA. People, if you understand what I'm going to do now, you will never ever mess this up. Anticodon. Okay. Now, let's think of, of, of uh, DNA. So let's go T-A-G. We're going to go G-A-G for gag. Let's do C-A-T for cat. Okay. These are, by the way, all amino acids. So the messenger RNA uh, codon is now going to code and it's going to be complementary. So the DNA and the messenger RNA are complementary. So T-A-G is going to be A, but remember with RNA, there is adenine to uracil and cytosine to guanine. So it will be A, but instead of A, we are not going to have T, we're going to have U and G to C. 
G to C, A to U, and G to C. And here, C to G, A to U, and T to A. That's your anti-code, uh, at least your codon. It's complementary. Your transfer RNA anti-codon is now complementary to your messenger RNA. So, this is going to be, now remember in tRNA, there's also no um, thymine, there is only uracil. So, it's going to be UAG, and it's going to be um, GAG, and we're going to have CAU. Now, this is complementary, this is complementary, but DNA and your transfer RNA are the same, except for thymine and uracil. So thymine will be in the DNA and RNA will have uracil. So look here, you've got T, U, A, G, A, G, G, A, G, G, A, G, C, A, T, C, A, and instead of thymine, U. If you remember this, you will get full marks for any question on protein synthesis. Okay, so let's go back to our questions. Where am I? Okay, next one. A selection of messenger RNA of the following base sequences and is read from left to right. So let's number them. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it says, give the DNA base triplet for the last codon. So it's for this one. Now remember, DNA and messenger RNA is going to be the codon. It's going to be complementary to the DNA. So it's going to be T, G, G. It's as simple as that. The first amino acid coded for by this section of RNA. So the first amino acid is GAU. And now we'll go back up here. GAU, GAU. There we go. There's GAU. It's aspartate. There's our amino acid. Okay. Ah, now what are we talking about? We're talking about mutations. Hmm. And a mutation occurred which resulted in the following base sequence on the mRNA. So this was the original one. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And this is the mutation that's resulted. So let's see. One is the same. Two is the same. Three, four. Oh, ha, ha, ha. look here. That C has now changed to a U. This one is the same, and that one is the same. So it says, describe the mutation that occurred. Well, that's easy. Um, the fourth codon, A, G, C, has changed to, let me just sip this down a bit, has I don't want to go down too much, has changed to there, A, G, U. So the C is ay, 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 replaced with U. Okay? It's, it's all you had to write. Now it says explain the effect of that mutation, this one we've just done, um, that will have on a resulting protein. So we're looking for AGC and AGU. So we go back here, ACG and ACU. Here's AGC and we want a AGU. Ah, oh, look, they're both serine. So if they code for the same amino acid, they're going to make absolutely no difference to um, the resulting protein. So you can say here, 
A G C and what it is A C U, hey? And A, I mean A G U. Both code for amino amino acid. Serene. Sounds so pretty, serene. So no effect on resulting protein. So it's easy as that. Nothing difficult. So far, people, you should have got 100%. Then it says, name and describe the process occurring in the nucleus, which results in the formation of the mRNA. Clearly, what they want us to talk about here is transcription. So we're gonna, I'm going to write very fast. We have transcription. Now, remember, I said to you in the start, transcription is when DNA makes RNA. All right, so first thing, uh, double helix, DNA, unwinds, and um, unzips as weak hydrogen bonds break, and that's caused by an enzyme. The enzyme is RNA. Um, polymerase, which you don't really need to know. Then, forming, break, forming two separate DNA strands. All right, so forming two separate DNA strands, um, one strand becomes the template. All right, um, and that template to produce, I'm just going to be a minute, to produce messenger RNA using free RNA nucleotides um, in the nucleoplasm. All right, almost finished. And point six, the mRNA is complementary to the DNA. All right, so adenine to uracil and guanine to cytosine. And that is what forms your mRNA codon. Okay, guys, 